there everyone welcome to connection points we're going to continue on in our study today of acts chapter 11 and we're going to finish up this chapter uh today and we we've talked about the beginning of this chapter was really a recap of chapter 10 and peter's experience with and uh with the the food that came down the vision that he had of the food coming down and god saying don't don't call anything unclean that I've called clean. And then sending him to Cornelius's house, which was really the first recorded Gentile becoming a believer and receiving the Holy Spirit and the Spirit coming upon them and, and, and manifesting in his power. And then um, as he is confronted on that in Acts chapter 11, at the beginning, uh, the, the circumcised believers, which were the Jewish believers, they confronted him on that because up to that point it was believed that only the Jews could be Christians um, not yet called Christians but and then we're going to find that right here uh, in just a second but but could become a believer and could receive the gift of the Holy Spirit could receive the word of God is the other way that it's spoken of in Acts chapter 11 and and through the testimony it's proven uh, that this is happening and then the the church begins to spread and in Antioch we saw yesterday that in Antioch um, that they began to share the good news with Gentiles and God's hand was upon them and they saw a great result from that and so they sent Barnabas Barnabas went to check it out and and he saw what was happening he was greatly encouraged and he began to encourage others uh to follow the lord and to do um, what what he uh was calling them to do and then in acts chapter 11 verse 25 is where we're going to pick up today and finish out this chapter it says this then barnabas went to tarsus to look for saul now saul remember was it will become the apostle paul right uh and and we saw back in acts chapter 9 his conversion in on the the road to damascus and his experience with uh, ananias in in damascus and and then him coming back and meeting with the apostles and then being sent to tarsus right to his own hometown basically for his own protection and so now barnabas is going there to find saul uh because he wants help with he wants he knows that Saul uh, is meant to be a teacher. He is meant to be an apostle and one who will come in and change the culture uh, of that place. And that's really what an apostle does. It's it's the mandate of the uh, the apostolic mandate is to go into a culture that um, and and change that culture into the culture from which you came. So. If we're going uh, as kingdom believers into the culture of the world, we're changing the world into the kingdom. And, and that's what apost the, the, the mandate of the apostolic mandate does and, and tells us to do is to go into all the world and make disciples. That is a statement of the apostolic mandate. Then, uh, so it says that Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So for a while, um, so for a whole year, Barnabas and Saul met with the church and taught great, taught, uh, great numbers of people. The disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. So Barnabas finds Saul. Saul and Barnabas team up and they go to Antioch and they stay there for a year discipling believers, sharing, evangelizing and discipling, evangelizing and discipling. That's what they do. That's all they do. And that's what the Apostle Paul does for the rest of his ministry and, and Barnabas as well. Um, evangelize and disciple. And he shares the, great, the good news and then he disciples and encourages and teaches people how to live that out. In verse 27, it says, During this time, some prophets from uh, came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. Now, here's an, a, a little note that I want to throw in. In Jewish thought, Jerusalem, the city of God, Jerusalem, is higher than anywhere else in the world. Now, geographically, we know that that's not the case, but in Jewish thought, it is. So anywhere that you hear a direction uh, about Jerusalem, it will always be down from Jerusalem or up to Jerusalem. Because in this case, 
Antioch is actually north of Jerusalem, and we would, looking at a map, we would say they were going up. They would go from Jerusalem up to Antioch. But in Jewish thought, in the way it's recorded in Scripture, it uh, it always refers to Ju uh, Jerusalem as being um, the highest point. So you go down from Jerusalem or you go up to Jerusalem, no matter which direction you are coming from. Um, so I, I, I just find that very interesting myself. During this time, some prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them, named Agabus, stood up and through the Spirit predicted that a severe famine would spread over the entire Roman world. This happened during the reign of Claudius. The disciples, as each, uh, as each one was able, decided to um, provide help for the brothers and sisters living in Judea. This, uh, this they did, sending their gift to the elders by Barnabas and Saul. So, they... Uh, <laughs> Agabus is uh, a prophet. He receives this prophetic vision uh, from God, and and he says that there's going to be a famine, and the famine really is affecting the people in Judea, and they're suffering. And so the believers that have been built up in uh, the the really the church that has been built up in Antioch um, begins to collect their um, gifts, their money, and and resources and they send it down to the apostles uh, in Judea and down in, in Israel uh, so that they can so that the apostles can use that to support the people that are suffering through this famine you, you see from the very beginning God has put something into the church to say that we are going to take care of our brothers and sisters and that, that we're going to look out for them. And, and so that's why we send missionaries. That's why we, uh, that's why we send support to, uh, to other parts of the world because we are called by God to reach out and to support those around us who are suffering, who are going through things. And so as we finish out this chapter and start the, the next chapter, um, I, I just want to maybe remind us of that is that is that God has structured this whole thing so that we could all have a part to play even in the lives of those who we don't even know that he has sent us out and he has and he has resourced us to make a difference in the lives of people that that are that we are connected to through him that's what the church is so I want to pray for us lord i just pray that you would help us to Feel that connection with brothers and sisters all around the world, uh, all over this globe that are that are connected to you. And because of that, they are we are connected to them and they are connected to us. And we are one body living in unity together and help us, Lord, to experience that oneness uh, as we as we give ourselves completely to you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for being with me today. See you soon.